Hello students, welcome to this session on quick solutions of All India Akash Test Series for J Mains 2020, Test 5, Code A and B, Physics, Test dated on 1st of December 2019. Let's start with question number 1. In question number 1, moment of inertia of a uniform square plate of mass capital M, side length A about an axis AB in the plane of plate is. This is the axis AB and it's making an angle of 45 degree with this line. Well, uh, this is the way we shall be calculating here. What we know is the uh, moment of inertia about this axis is ml square by 12, about this axis also ml square by 12, about this axis and this axis. In fact, I would say about this axis it's coming out to be how much? m a square by 12. So about this axis, which is actually making an angle of 45 degree, this length would be how much? This length is a by root 2. So I would say moment of inertia about this axis now it is m a square by 12 plus m into this distance is a square by 2. Well, I would say the moment of inertia i is coming out to be 7 by 12 m into a square. So for question number 1, we are having option 4 as the correct answer. Now let's proceed to question number 2. Here in question number 2, Two identical particles A and B connected by an idle string of length L are given velocities V0 and 3V0 at t is equal to 0. It has been given along this direction and 3V0 along this direction. Perpendicular to the length of the string in smooth horizontal plane as shown. Speed of A at time t is equal to pi L divided by 8V0 will be. We have to find what will be the speed of this particle. First, we need to calculate the velocity of center of mass. Definitely, it would be, it is 3mv0 minus mv0 divided by how much? It is 2m. This is coming out to be v0. So, I would say, with respect to center of mass now, this is moving with velocity v0. This part is having the velocity of 2v0 and this one is having the velocity along this direction with respect to 2v0. So, moment of inertia of this rod about this axis, it was actually m, this length being l by 2, I would say m l square by 4 into 2 and this is the moment of inertia into let's say this is the angular velocity, it must be the angular momentum of whole system about this axis. How much this would be? It is m into 2 v naught and this length being l by 2 into 2. From here, we will calculate the value of omega to be equal to 4 v naught by L. Now, at time that has been given here pi L by 8 v naught. I would say the angle that it would rotate, this portion would rotate by how much angle? That is the theta I am writing down. It is 4 v naught L into pi L 8 v naught and that is coming out to be pi divided by 2. So, we shall have a situation here that this point will be rotated at this angle. This part is moving with velocity v naught here. And this portion, it is having the velocity 2v0 along this direction. This is the point A. So, I would say the velocity of point A would be, this time it is v0 into root 5. That is very much clear. This velocity is along this direction. It is along this direction. So, vector sum of these two would be how much? v0 into root 5. So, for question number 2, we are having option 4 as the correct answer. Now, let us proceed to question number 3. Here in question number 3, Two buses A and B start from same position with same speed. Bus A travel with constant velocity and bus B retard with constant retardation. If at the instant when bus B comes to rest, distance travelled by bus A is S, then distance travelled by bus B till this moment is equal to. Uh, both of the buses they start from the same point, one with constant velocity and other with how much? With constant retardation. Let the initial velocity being how much? V. So, I would say by the time the bus B comes to rest, simply let the retardation being A, I would say V minus A T will be equal to 0 or T being how much? It is V divided by A. This is the time at which the bus B will come to rest. So, up to that time, the distance traveled by the bus A, it is S, I would say it is V into T, that is coming out to be how much? It is V square divided by A. This portion has been written down as S. Now, the distance travelled by the bus B would be S dash, it would be how much? V into T, V 
t being d by a minus 1 by 2 a and t square it will come out to be v square divided by a square so s dash is coming out to be s divided by 2 that's the answer for question number 3 option 3 is the answer here now let's proceed to question number 4 here in question number 4 a uniform rod mass m and length l hinged at the lower end is released from the vertical position so that it starts rotating in vertical plane force applied by the hinge along the rod when it makes an angle of theta is equal to 37 degree with vertical is we shall just proceed with the calculation by conserving the mechanical energy in rotational motion let this angle being how much it is 37 degree it rotates by 37 degree here so I would say the total decrement in potential energy would be the gain of rotational kinetic energy decrement in potential energy would be how much mgl by 2 1 minus cos 37 must be equal to 1 by 2 i is ml square by 3 into omega square or from this part here 1 minus cos 37 is 1 by 5 it is coming out to be mgl divide by 10 would be equal to ml square omega square 2 into 3 or I would simply say it is 3 mg divide by 10 is equal to m omega square l by 2 I am writing this equation in this format simply because I will be using this equation in next part of calculation now net force toward the center let this hinge exerts the force along this direction and that is f total weight of the body will be acting here mg so its component toward the center is mg cos 37 it is coming out to be mg cos 37 cos 37 being 4 by 5 minus f must be equal to m omega square r r being how much l by 2 so it is coming out to be 3 mg by 10 or f now it is 8 mg by 10 minus 3 mg by 10 or f is equal to mg by 2 this is the force exerted by the sense along the road so for question number 4 here we are having option 1 as the correct answer now let's proceed to the next question here in question number 5 a car starts from rest on a circular track of radius r is equal to 1 meter and then accelerates with constant tangential acceleration a is equal to 2 meter per second square. Net acceleration of car at the moment when car has completed half the revolution is take pi square to be equal to 10. If we are taking this as the circular path starting from a particular point here, tangential acceleration being how much? It's been given to be 2 meter per second square so by the time the car will be completing half the revolution let its speed be v so i would say v square is equal to 2a into s 2 acceleration be 2 and s is pi into r so i am saying v square is equal to 4 pi value of r to be equal to 1 now net acceleration of the car it is toward the center and along this direction so vector sum of these two this is a square i am saying it will be a tangential whole square a tangential being given as 2 meter per second square so it is 4 plus v square divided by r that is the centripetal expression so this is the value of v square divided by r so i would say it is 16 pi square or replace the value of pi square with 10 i would say it is 2 root under 1 plus 4 pi square that is 40 or the value of a that is coming out to be 2 root 41 meter per second square so here for question number 5 we are having option 2 as the correct answer now we shall proceed to next question that is question number 6 mm -hmm.